Hi, hello. My name is Than, short for Nathaniel. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the new retractable Gucci brow pencil in the shade Brune. And um, the Victoria Beckham Navy Noir Satin Kajal liner. <laughs> also, I picked up another shade of the Rouge de Brilliant lipstick in Louise Orange, so I'll put that on too. Okay. <laughs> so before I get started, please um, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, <laughs> follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. I'm gonna start saying this more in the beginning so that hopefully <laughs> you guys remember <laughs> to click that subscribe button. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Glasses off. I just added like uh, my pastel purple dye into my hair to try to make it a little more blue purple overall because the front was getting a little green. I'm gonna prime with the Huda Beauty water jelly primer. I just did my skincare, so I don't really need too much. Just a little extra hydration. I'm still dealing with these stupid chin pimples. What can you do? <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to use the um, Monica Blender Blender Cover. This is shade number two. I got um, shade number one and then um, she liked my video. <laughs> so she reached out and she sent me two more shades, two and 2.5. But 2.5 is a little bit too dark. This is good, especially like I've been like mixing the two, but I'm going to try using this just on my own and then lightening with a concealer. Um, but 2.5 matches my mom perfectly, so I gave her that one. So it's being <laughs> put to good use. So thank you, Monica, if you see this. So here's what the shade looks like. Super creamy. Here, why don't I just show you shade one again, too? I did, like, uh, my official review on this, like I said before, but let me show you. If you want to see, see um, shade one in action, I'll leave that video linked down below. But here's um, shades one and two next to each other. This is one, this is two. Or Eins and Zwei. I've actually thought about scooping equal parts into like a separate pot and mixing them. So I have my own little mixture. I might do that soon. So I have some like empty jars from other products. I feel like that's a good idea, especially for travel if I ever do that. <laughs> okay. I feel like both of these shades match me pretty well. This one ends up being a tad more natural maybe because it's just, you know, a, a slight bit darker. But this really just blends in so nice. Looks like skin. It's sort of thick, but it doesn't feel heavy. And this has Arnica in it. Which is supposed to help calm redness. So this <laughs> foundation and me are sort of a match made in heaven for my sensitive dry skin. <laughs> I'm gonna sort of spread it out with this BK Beauty 101 contoured foundation brush, and then I'm gonna blend on top with a sponge probably. I don't know how I literally every single time I sit down to do my makeup, I lose my most used concealer. <laughs> every single time. I'm looking for the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. Oh, here it is, okay. Oh my God, it's always hiding. I've been setting with the Pat McGrath powder literally every time, so I'm gonna set a little bit with a different powder today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this brush. Um, since we're using a bunch of other Gucci stuff today, let me use the Gucci powder. I haven't used this in a while, but this is one of my favorites. And I'm using the Sonya G Designer Pro. contour with the Wayne Goss um, Radiance Boosting Face Palette in light gold using the light taupe shade. Where's that brush? Brush. Oh, here we go. And the Shakuta Angled Face Brush. I 
guess let's start with the um, brow pencil. So again, this is the shade brown. It twists up like this and it has a pretty fine point. I think there's six or seven shades of this, if I'm right. And this is their second brow pencil formula. They also have this one, which is more of like a powder in a pencil. Okay, so here I go. I'm more of like a brow gel person um, because I just feel like I'm not that skilled with using pencils and they can be harder to make look natural. But I've used this one a couple times already and I feel like it's actually pretty easy to use <laughs> and it looks great. So I'm excited. Let's see. Maybe hopefully I can not fuck it up today, but we'll see. So just using light pressure sort of underneath at the bottom of the brow and then starting to just go very lightly into the more sparse areas sort of flicking. I bet they're gonna come out with a brow gel. I will definitely be picking that up <laughs> when they do. I bet it's gonna be so pretty too. See, <laughs> I feel like I maybe just sort of blend that. Okay, I guess I fixed it. Okay, I think that's not too bad. <laughs> okay. Also, I like the um, form of this pencil a little bit better. It's super lightweight and it's see how it's all one sleek component basically. And, but this one has the caps, has that like cap design that's not all the way. So this, this feels very satisfying, it does. They both do, but I'm, I like this one a little more. Here, I'll swatch this too for you. I'll swatch it next to the other pencil formula. So as you can see, look at that really fine line I just got with this. It's so skinny. Skinny. Skinny, that's right, bitch. We're back here at Skinny Cakes, making cakes for the skinny, skinny. Well, I'll just show you those little strokes there. And then I'll show you this one. It's sort of more, um, like powdery, like drier, you know, it's like a drier powder formula. And this is, these are two different shades. This is, I have the powder pencil and taupe and it sort of just blends in. Maybe I'll add a little bit of this one in, like. Oh, <gasps> what's happening? No, 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 no. God. Oh God. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Hopefully this looks okay. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to sort of, again, I'm not very good with brow pencils, but I will keep trying them until I get it right. <laughs> Do not leave me a hate comment. How about this? If at any point you feel inspired to leave me a negative comment, just don't even watch. Just click out and say, we're not meant to be. Now let's do the eye look with this pencil here. Um, <laughs> so it's sort of melted in transit, um, but I'm just gonna, it sh it's been sitting for a while, so it should be able to be sharpened now. <laughs> let's see, I have this Gucci pencil sharpener. Hopefully this will be good for it. Okay, so here we go, here's the shade. I'm gonna do um, swatches and comparisons with every other shade that I have in this. I have every shade except for the black one. And um, I'm also gonna compare it to this Nabla liner that I got recently. I feel like this is a popular one that just came out with Nabla's newest collection. So I'll swatch these. 
and I'll talk a little bit about the differences in the formulas and whatnot. Like brow pencils, <laughs> I am also not too skilled with eyeliners. However, I love Victoria Beckham's formula because it's sort of smudgy and smoky, so you can do a really easy smoky eye look with them. You just have to put it on and you can just blend it a little with your finger and keep adding where you want more depth. And it's just so easy to smoke out. Like it, it's very blendable in the beginning. And then once it sets down, it like doesn't move. It's very long wearing. So really, really like it. But let's see how this color works because I felt like in some of the colors, in the one color, um, Bordeaux, the red one, I felt like that one didn't um, blend as nicely as the other. So let's see this blue. I have high hopes because I do love the formula and I love blue. So I don't know, I'm just excited. <laughs> let's get into it. And again, this is the shade, the new shade, Navy Noir. So I guess I'm just gonna go like this. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. See, it's so easy. And you know, it really doesn't have to be precise. Look how easily it blends. I love these so much. Okay, so the only thing is these, oh wow, this feels a lot, this feels a little bit softer. So what I was gonna say is these tips um, are really stiff, but this one, well, actually, it, it, it's, it still feels stiff, but noticeably less stiff than the other ones. I'm gonna compare that to make sure I'm not going crazy. But just so you know, because I was just gonna say, I don't really recommend using the tip because of the stiffness. <laughs> but okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try it actually, let's see. So I'm gonna add a little bit right here. And then, yeah, I don't know. It still feels like on the eye, it's still not soft enough but I feel like in a pinch if you needed to, you know? I love this. I love this so much. Pop Spice, you did it again. <laughs> God, I forgot to clean my freaking brushes again. I can't, I keep doing this. Well, let's see, I'm gonna try to make this work. Well, maybe, let me... Okay, so I have this pencil brush. There was some purple or pink on this, so I'm hoping that I just wiped it off on a microfiber, microfiber towel as, as good as I can. And I'm just gonna... Oh shit, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> did, not mean, did not mean to do that. Okay, it's okay, okay. It's okay. Well, I can clean this up. I can clean this up, hold on. Just taking a little bit of this makeup forever powder foundation. This should be fine. I'll just like... It's still sort of there, but whatever, what can you do? Anyways, for now, let me start this on this eye. <laughs> I did the same thing on this side. how pretty this is though. Even with the mess up, you can barely see it. And I'll just edit it out of my picture if it is noticeable. <laughs> now I'm gonna sharpen this a little bit more and just go as close to the lash line as I can. Sort of on like literally a like painting. Oh God, this, I do not recommend this Gucci pencil sharpener. Just sharpen it really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Jones Road one. Oh my, kinda got down there a little bit. I don't know, should I try lining the waterline a little bit? I did this the other day so sort of successfully. Maybe I should try. This is my second time lining my waterline in my life. And it was pretty easy with this. 
Uh, might have to grab a Q-tip because I can feel a tear starting to come, but. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh God. Oh boy. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh God, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, I grabbed some Q-tips. Whatever happened before is settled down. I'm gonna try to go a little bit underneath the top part, you know what I mean? Like, tight lining a little. Oh fuck, oh God damn it. <laughs> Jesus! Oh God. Do not try this at home. Well, you could try it, but you be careful. Okay. Love! I'm so excited. Oh my fucking God. So now I've been using this shade so much. So sorry if you've been seeing my looks and getting tired of it. But from this Nabla palette, <laughs> this airy light blue, I love it, love, 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 love it. I'm taking this Soyunji Worker 3. This has been used with the blues before, so it's kind of stained blue right now. I really need to clean my brushes, God. Oh, I got an itch there. Hold on. And I didn't bring the liner all the way in, because I feel like it might, um, get a little bit too watery if I go too close to the center, you know? Like on my water line. <laughs> Sony G Worker 3 into Airy. I'm just gonna use this to sort of blend this upper part. This is such a beautiful sky blue shade. Really airy, like the name suggests. I'm obsessed. I'm already like, I already made such a big dent in it because I love it. Like when I hit pan on it, I'm gonna have to buy this palette again just for the shade. This is the Nabla Cutie palette, the new one, uh, Midnight, number, number six. Yeah, this is pretty. Sort of blending it a little bit to the, the front of the lower lash line too, in one swoop. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, now, the Midnight Lid Luster, God. They love naming blue things midnight, don't they? Here it is. And I'm gonna just take it with my finger and swipe this here. Blue Hour, the matte navy from this palette the Crease Pro, right? Yeah, the Sony G Crease Pro. This pencil brush from before too, and a little bit of that shade. Fuck, I did it again! Oh my God, gotta remember what I put on my fingers. Again, Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. I mean, you know, it's not perfect, but accidents happen. <laughs> okay, blending one more time with Aerie. This glitter from Pat McGrath Divine Rose One. For mascara, let's use the Victoria Beckham Future Lash. Love this mascara. Need to clean this up real quick. <laughs> There's like brushes and pencil shavings everywhere. I'm gonna attempt to use this sponge and cover some of the blue fallout with this powder foundation. Mm -hmm. 
That actually worked really well. Blush. Let me use um, try Nymphette. I might go in with a different one on top, but I haven't used Nymphette that much, so let's try it out. And this is the Koyudo um, Lunar New Year Ox Brush. <laughs> I'm gonna buff everywhere a little bit with the um, Face One from Sonya G and the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. I'm gonna spray my face a little bit in the other room because I'm gonna use my hair dryer to dry my face real quick. But I'm gonna spray with the um, Catrice Dewy Fix Prime and Fine Spray. For highlight, I'm gonna use the MAC Moon Masterpiece. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, sorry, this is the blush. <laughs> Similar packaging and I'm blind, so. Um, this is the MAC Moon Masterpiece Double Gleam Highlighter. And the Wayne Goss um, Airbrush, of course. I'm gonna brighten a little bit with the Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Brightening Powder. Okay, let me change into something else. Okay, actually last, last step, I forgot I was gonna show you this <laughs> Gucci lipstick in Louise Orange, so let me add that. Okay, Ooh, nice. Goes good with the with the blue, you know. And I'll add just a little bit of this gloss as well. The Roman Glasting Water Gloss. This is super shiny. Okay, let's zoom in and then we'll go over my final thoughts. I love this liner. <laughs> and I really love this brow pencil and the fucking lipstick. Ah, I can't. Like I said before, these eyeliners are so nice. They just, they are long wearing, yet they're so easy to blend out in the beginning and they give you plenty of playtime. Like, they're just so good. Like, so, so good. You really don't even need another product to make a complete look like a complete smoky eye with these like you just like keep adding a little more you know where you want it to be darker and you just sort of slowly blend it out and it's just so nice and it was so easy to blend my waterline i only shed like one tear and i sort of stabbed myself a couple times but that's my fault of course <laughs> um yeah this is only my second time lining my waterline and i feel like it looks pretty good love this love this love this love this um, compared to the Nabla one, first let me swatch them next to each other and I'll tell you how that's gonna go. So here's the Nabla, and here's the Victoria Beckham on top. I mean, they're practically the same. They're, I mean, you can't really <laughs> make too many different colors of navy, you feel me? Um, I will say this one feels a lot drier going on and the Victoria Beckham literally melts like, I think maybe it's, I mean, it's extra melty because it's been, you know, in the heat. <laughs> you can even see, I mean, it might be hard to see, but you see how the Victoria Beckham is still a little shiny, has sort of like a little bit of a sheen. I think the Nabla dries quicker. And the first time I actually lined my waterline was like a week ago or something. And I used the Nabla one. So it worked for lining my lash line. I just, you don't get the same amount of playtime as you do with the Be the Beckham ones. And I felt like this was getting sort of weird and flaky, sort of like powdery and it was coming off everywhere. Overall, I would definitely recommend the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal liners over the Nabla Cupid's Arrow. But you know, it's not terrible. I just think that these reign supreme. Um, this brow pencil, was a lot easier to use than I originally thought. I mean, this is like the third time I've used it and 
Yeah, I think it's almost easier to use than the <laughs> than the powder one, and the powder one is is pretty easy because you can just blend it out in a way so easily. I mean, you saw I literally stamped a giant like mark right here, and I just you know blended it away. I think, I hope. And then, I mean, this formula of Gucci's has become, I'm not really a lipstick person, but I like these because they're really sheer and really hydrating, but they still add like really juicy color, you know? So I might have to get a couple more shades of these eventually because they're just so nice. The only thing I worry about is running through them pretty quickly because they do sort of like melt, you know what I mean? They're because they're so sheer. They're almost like lip balms, but, you know, tinted. More, a lot more tinted, you know. I'll have to try another Gucci formula soon. Because I really love them, and the packaging is just stunning. I mean, really. You, I mean, they're really killing it with the packaging. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I guess not. Anyways, so... Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified every single time that I upload a new video. Um, I should have a new video up Monday, but the, tonight, when I'm posting this, Friday, <laughs> at 7.30, I'm doing another live stream. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. There's a couple different options, but we're going to have fun regardless. And I'll leave a little link down below where you can follow me on Newness and get a text notification or email notification, whatever you prefer, to know when I'm going live. And I also post updates on my Instagram, Instagram stories, feed, all that. So, yeah. Definitely check out my Instagram, though, because I post a lot more looks from my live streams and things. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Goodbye.